defended at my base, I would say, and uh, yeah, it looks like he is going to be going for that, because in his view, he does see it. Overlord here to see what's up, Overlord here to see what's up, so, uh, yep, getting blank, getting weapons one, and Colossi, uh, I think at one point, wait, sorry, uh, yeah, he did see all my spines, so he's he's gonna need he's um I'm I'm gonna guess his reasoning. I'm I'm not sure why he would get Colossus, but uh I guess it's to break down these spine crawlers. That would be my best guess. And uh, he still doesn't come for this expo yet, so I d I don't know that he spotted. Uh, observers are cloaked, and I I have no clue that he scouted it. I'm just going here, gonna be making a queen, and yeah, see, needs so much more gas. And uh, looks like he's splitting two stalkers and a couple zealots. And uh, do I spot that? Mm, let's see when I spot that. So if we look at my player cam right here, gonna be making my fourth expansion, by the way. The and the hive cluster is under attack, attack and. Uh, I'm just gonna fly my mutas over, and uh, mutas do pretty well. So uh, he didn't bring; he only split a small little force, though. So once he was attacking this hatchery, I I know right now at this point that there's only two stalkers that can attack all these mutas. So I sh I could just clean this up. I kind of thought this was I was just like okay, free units. So uh, grab him. He doesn't even take the hatchery down, so that kind of sucks for him, but. It did stop me from getting those geysers up and getting a load of gas. Uh, making zerglings. Getting armor one just to counteract that uh, that zealot uh, weapons one, which does kill zerglings in two hits. Uh, so I want to change that to three. Continuing to inject so much freaking, uh, what do you call these, minerals. Minerals. Getting weapons two as well as... Uh, not much. Making... Let's see his army now. He has quite a bit of stalkers, quite a bit of sentries, and one colossus, and even more stalkers. So that is the right composition, I would say. Phoenix are so annoying versus mutas, but... Coming in for a harass, it looks like. Uh, but if the... Is there just... All he has to do is really put down a hydro den and... You're in some trouble unless you have mass phoenix. Mass phoenix is a different story because you can just pick up all the hydras and kill them one by one, and that is also really strong. Uh, income tab here. He is starting to skyrocket me, but he only is on uh, or not? He's not skyrocketing. He's only on uh, one base. So uh, even if he has 60 drones, that's just, he's just oversaturating. A lot of these drones are really doing nothing. Uh, looks like he has two colossi, and he's gonna he's gonna move out here and try to break down my wall uh, so this is gonna be nearing the end fight doing a drone transfer which gets intercepted it looks like looks like a little bit made it and a couple drones did and uh, so if we look at the units here uh, 24 stalkers the 23 mutas if they were to 1v1 the stalkers would win by probably six but I do have a load of Zerglings and the, the, the home ground advantage, I guess. And uh, we'll see what goes on here. It does catch a lot of things off, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm going like, okay, this, this is when he's going to push in. And if I, can, if I can kill his army right here, I, I know I have the game. But, uh, so I'll pause again, sorry. Uh, weapons 2 is not yet up yet, so these mutas aren't going to be weapons 2. Uh, he's going to move in here a little bit, snipe off what he can, get some muta. And uh, my mutas are going to come in here, try to snipe off something, don't even get a stalker. But I didn't lose anything either, I just lost a bunch of HP on the mutas. All good, all good. Making a proxy pylon and making more stalkers. He's going to be needing a lot of those and as well as a lot of good force fields. Uh, five sentries with four of them maxed out. Another colossi. That this is kind of weird. I don't know why he's going so much colossi. I guess maybe he wants to kill zerglings really badly because zerglings are do counter stalkers a lot. And uh, But he has a lot of force fields so if he can force field properly 
uh, it's it's not that crucial to get uh, Colossi. So it looks like he's going to move in a little bit again, inching up. And okay, this looks like the big fight. And yeah, 29 to 25 stalkers. So he has more stalkers than Mutas, and that is definitely going to win if they really don't want to be But I have 104 lings. Does that look like 104 lings? Not really. They're so small and they stack up and stuff. So a uh, nice little force field. And uh, coming in here, but the spines are attacking his stalkers and stuff anyway, so that was kind of kind of bad blinking up here. I'm not sure what that was all about. These mutas are just tearing. He, he did destroy like all my zerglings though. 100 zerglings just got ripped to shreds. Weapons 2 did finish in the middle of that fight, so uh, that was kind of good. And uh, look at this, a page of mutas. He, he knows he's done. Like, you can't pump, you can't pump out enough anti-air to just take that out. I can just, with this much, he can, what can he do now right here? He has four stalkers, he can probably warp in another four, and then eight stalkers, and I just gotta clear those, and I have free ring over all of, all of his base. I'm trying to get an expansion there, but it's not gonna cut it, and uh, just once, you just need to survive and get that critical mass of mutas, and you'll be fine in this matchup. Getting those two gases finally. I I don't really I don't I didn't really utilize these two bases that well. I guess I just used the extra larvae to spawn Zergling yet. So uh, I better cut it off here. Uh, thanks for watching.